join my Patreon at patreon.com slash bunnytales for the full uncut reactions. Thank you for watching. Hello everyone. Today we're going to watch The Legend of Korra, um, season one, episode nine, called Out of the Past. I am really enjoying this show a lot more than I thought I would. It's really intense. The characters are great. I'm really intrigued to see where the story is going. And yeah, I can't wait to see more. All right, let's do it. Legend of Korra. Hope you guys enjoy. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the comments. But the heated argument quickly turned into an all out bending. Oh, yeah, battle. this was Desperate crazy. Himself, Tarlock revealed his ability to blood bend. Damn this Tarlock. Can't wait to learn more about him. Oh, gosh. Does, is that really necessary? I guess so. Tarlock! You can't keep me in here forever! This guy! <laughs> the tongue, fl tongue flicking. Who is this? It's six in the morning. This better be important. <laughs> Where did he learn that from? <laughs> I wonder. What? Cora came to my office late last night. That's when the Equalists attacked. You liar! Then I was electrocuted. Ah! And I came to the police. Oh, arrived. this guy's good. Too the good. Cora's gone. Subduing Councilman Tarlock and capturing Avatar Cora. I wish I could get dressed like that every morning. Come on, I'm busting you out. Thanks. Damn. Lynn. Cover your ears. I can't go with you listening. Asami. Ah! A little <laughs> privacy, please? Cora's in trouble. Amon captured her. No, she can't be gone. <laughs> your fly was down. Thanks for catching that. <laughs> You know, I think I ship I I ship uh Asami and Mako now. Please. <sighs> I believe Aang's spirit is trying to tell you something. What are you doing here, Aang? I told you I have this under control. Under uh, normal circumstances, I wouldn't get involved. Their voices, their grown-up voices. Follow me, Twinkle Toes. Tough. You think you can stop with the nicknames? Afraid not. <laughs> Toph is the best. What's the big idea? We have dozens of witnesses, Yakon. We know what you are. Man, Aang is handsome. Oh. Lynn, what, what, are, what are you? You should be in the hospital. <laughs> and you three, you should be in prison. We need Naga. She can track Korra. Oh, afraid, good idea. Her dog is missing as well. Oh, what did happen to Naga? I don't remember. When those chi blockers had me in their truck, it sounded like we drove into a tunnel. There's a tunnel nearby. I love it. Gets me every time. Woo, let's go. Hey, is Mako all right? He seems really worried about Korra. Is there a problem with that? Do you think he likes Korra as more than just a friend? Oh. <laughs> what? No crazy talk is coming out of your mouth right now. What do you know, Bolin? <laughs> there was this one time during the tournament when Mako and Korra kissed, but... They kissed? Bolin, you were trying so hard and then you just completely messed it up. They have a big squad here. Aang had his, his friends, but there were only a few of them, especially at the start. Slowly built up, adding Toph and, and Zuko. And we have adults. I don't know. It's it's cool. It's a different dynamic. So cool. Her officers. Chief Bayfong, that monster already took your bending, didn't he? Oh no! Come on, let's get you out of here. No. Oh. We don't have the Avatar, and the Equalist didn't attack City Hall. Tarlock's line. What? Uh, Why would Tarlock make up a story about getting attacked? Because he has Korra. He fooled us all. What is Tarlock's goal here? Is he with the Equalists? Is he not? Try to cheap lock that, fools! Fools! 
We got more company. Oh. oh my god, Lynn! That was amazing! She's too OP. <laughs> god dang. Yakon has maintained his grip on the underworld by using an ability that has been illegal for decades. Bloodbending. Ooh. Just like Tarluck. I remind the council that bloodbending, it can only be performed during a full moon. So? My client used bloodbending at every other time, except during a full moon. It would be a except? mockery of justice to convict a man of a crime is possible to commit yeah but i think team avatar know that nothing's impossible in my years i have encountered people born with rare and unique bending abilities why even metal bending was considered impossible for all of history your rambling suck <laughs> toff beifong single-handedly developed the skill yeah exactly what i was gonna say we find your cone Guilty of all charges. Oh no! So is Tarlock a descendant of this guy or? Have you news of Avatar Korra? You kidnapped her, Tarlock. I already explained. Equalus attacked us and took- It's true! He took her! Why did you wait until now to fess up? I was terrified to tell because because Tarlock is a bloodbender. Oh my god, she is. Tell us where you have Korra. Very brave to say all that in front of him. He could just blink and kill her. Oh my god, he's so. All of them at once? Oh my god. We've only been out for a little while. Maybe we can still pick up Tarlock's trail. Man, things are really moving fast. Jeez. So he can bloodbend multiple people Yacon, just like you won't get away with Harlock. <laughs> Maybe Yakone is Amon? Time I'm gonna put you to sleep for good. Oh God! How do you fight against this? Oh God! Ah! Wow. He had to go I'm Avatar State. You bending for good. <sighs> it's over. He's a mon. You were trying to warn me about Tarlock. Or my life is a disaster now. What? To you. You're your cone's son. Yeah. I was his son, but in order to win Republic City, I had to become someone else. I was to be the city's savior. You ruined everything. You'll never get away with this. Okay, so he's your cone's son, and that's. Amon, you've never faced bending like mine. Oh, he's strong. You four retrieve the Avatar. Do not underestimate her. Electrocute the box to knock her out before you open it. Oh, smart girl! Open the box. Get him, Cora! Tie her up. Ah! That's my avatar.
Oh my god, run. I thought I told you not to underestimate her. <laughs> Don't under underestimate her. She's super powerful. Trips on a little twig. <laughs> There's Naga. So, Tarlock. Man, they're far from Republic City. He wasn't with Amon. He wasn't Amon. So both of those theories of mine were incorrect. <laughs> I was way off. Give her some space. Oh boy. I was so worried. I'm glad you're here. Dang. Do I ship them now too? Like, I can't. I'm confused. I'm just you're as safe. confused as probably Mako. Wow. So Tarlock, he just was using dirty tactics to try to become like this hero that takes down Amon. Okay, so he wanted to be a hero. He wanted to be praised, maybe even worshipped. He wanted to be the most powerful person of Republic City. He wanted to control everything and everyone. And seeing grown-up Aang and Toph and Sokka was really cool, but I wish we could see them under better circumstances. So somehow, Amon got this power that Aang has. They even do it the same way, like with the touching on their forehead, and then they take away their powers. Who is this Amon? He's not Yakon. I thought maybe for a second he was Yakon, but it doesn't seem like he is. Maybe. Uh, he's. It still could be. I mean, but Yakon was a bender and then had his bending taken away. Would he go after benders because of that? I don't know. I don't think it's him. It's not Tarlock. I'm so intrigued. And then Mako, I think when Korra's in trouble, when he is without Korra by his side, he is starting to, I guess, realize how much he misses her and how important she is to him and now I don't know what's gonna happen between those three in the coming episodes but the roles have kind of reversed with Korra and Asami now Asami's the one who's jealous and who's kind of on the sidelines feeling upset Mako is just a ladies man poor Bolin ain't nobody look in his direction <laughs> And I absolutely love seeing Lin and Tenzin fight every time we get to see that it is so amazing, even if it's just for a short time or some of the things that Lin does with her metal bending, how she took that um, cart or whatever they were riding on up and out. Because when I saw those, the group of like equalists and those machines uh, in front of them in the tunnel, I was like, how in the world are they going to fight all these guys off? And then she was just like, no, we're not doing this. <laughs> we're out of here. Goodbye. And that was super cool. All right. That's it, I guess, for this episode. We just have to see, watch more to see what is going to be revealed and how this is going to go. And we're still, you know, in this season one and there's more seasons to come. And yes, thank you guys for watching. Please leave a comment and let me know how you're enjoying the series so far with me and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.